something that I've been wanting to try for literally the longest time and one of the brands that I've been wanting to try for literally the longest time. I must say, I'm kind of in love. That dewy, whoa, it's so Konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my US beauty haul. If this sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel it all good. So last month I had traveled to the US with my partner to spend some time with his um, family over the holidays and while I was there a lot of you guys had messaged me saying like are you gonna do a lot of shopping are you gonna buy any beauty products and such and yes I did buy some and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to share what I as someone who is obsessed with Asian beauty would buy in America. The main reasons to why I purchased these was it was significantly cheaper in America which honestly a lot of the stuff was like either the same price or even more expensive in America due to the recent inflation even compared to when I lived in America I could tell that a lot of things including beauty products were more expensive so it's only when it was significantly cheaper or there was like a big sale that I bought it or there were just products that I couldn't really get in Australia so I do have obviously a fair bit of skincare some makeup some body care and and also some hair care. Let's get into this haul. I feel like I haven't done a haul in such a long time. Right, starting off with skincare and I'll be honest I bought quite a few like sets of products like box sets, gift sets, trial sets because it was during Christmas time so these existed which was great and also because I do already have a lot of skincare products I didn't want to get like big sizes of products I really wanted to try it out and see if I enjoyed it and if I did I can purchase the biggest size. Something that I've been wanting to try for literally the longest time and one of the brands that I've been wanting to try for literally the longest time I got the Glow Recipe Fruit Babies Best Sellers Kit. Yes you can totally get Glow Recipe in Australia. I believe it's Mecca who sells them, but they don't have a mini set like this. They have a couple sets, but not with the products that I really wanted to try the most. Whereas this one, it has the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner, the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid Serum, Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream, and the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Now, the out of all of these, the ones that I want to try the most are the Toner and the glow drops because James Walsh has talked about it consistently and he just has adored both of those products and just yeah like I just I need to try it if he loves it I need to try it but I was also very interested in the other products so I did grab this one and it's like a lot cheaper it's like $30 or something in America and you can actually get like the best sellers also like perfect size for travel and isn't it kind of like ironic or maybe not that ironic or kind of like cliche that I go to the US and continue to buy K-beauty brands. Glow Recipe is a K-beauty brand like it's considered a K-beauty brand right it's made in Korea even though it's like a American brand if that makes sense. Another set I got from a brand that is essentially just K-beauty in the US is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Discovery Kit. So this is again a set that includes four products. It has their essence, their glass skin refining serum which I can't wait to try, the cream and then also a cleanser. So all products that are like core to a skincare routine which is really nice. This was another brand that I feel like I hear a lot of creators in the US talk about. It does have that user experience and formulation that K Beauty brands have. Oh, they are a good size. Two of them are 30 mils, and then the cream is 25, and then I think the serum is 15 mils. Yeah. But again, a really good size for travel. And I did have multiple of you guys recommend to try Peach and Lily. And now we're going to move on to a brand that I had been excited to try. They do sell it in Australia, but they don't have the full product range. And they were also way cheaper. Like the retail price was cheaper at Target US. And then they had an extra like 20% off promo at the time. So I was like, yes, this is the time to try it out. The Naturium, the Superstars 
Serum Starter Kit. So I must say Naturium does have a wide range of products for being a fairly new brand. And when I went on there, I was like, which one should I try? Like there's so many products, but I want to try the serums, but like, I don't know this and that. And then I realized that they did have this kit where all the serums are 15 mils, which is like decent. It does include the Niacinamide Serum, the Vitamin C Complex Serum, Retinol Complex Serum, and the Quadruple Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I was like, yes. Other than this, I actually have four other, no, five other products from Naturium. I also bought a body product from them. The Niacinamide Cleansing Gilly 3%. I do feel like I was seeing this like everywhere when it came out and so many people like love it. So I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to get it. I actually thought it was a second step cleanser. Is it a first step cleanser? Oh, gently dissolves makeup and oil and other impurities. I thought it was like a second step water-based cleanser. Surprise, surprise. Either way, I am excited to try it out. And the other cleanser I got from them was the Naturium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. <sighs> you may have noticed that I still have the Target tape on it. I did get it shipped to the place and this is how it comes. Which like, I get it because they don't want to spill it in the package, but like I was trying to take it off and I hate this. I hate my products to not look nice. I have a lot of cleansing oils that I already do enjoy, but I did kind of want to get into balms a little bit more because I haven't found too many that I'm in love with yet. So hopefully this one is one of them. And then I also got the Naturium Alpha Arbutin Essence 1%. Arbutin is another amazing ingredient to help um, even out skin tone and brighten scars and such, but it is harder to find in a lot of skincare. I feel like niacinamide, vitamin C, um, transamic acid. You do see a lot in skincare, but not so much arabutin. In the past, I had really good experience with the Hadarabo Shirojun toner that had arabutin in it, but when they reformulated it, they actually took it out. So I don't really have that many skincare products that does include that ingredient. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, and it's also an essence. It honestly, like even the bottle and like the like consistently seems pretty similar to the Hadarabo one. So maybe it would be like right on my um, favorite kind of product formulation. And then the last skincare product for the face that I got from Naturium was the Azelaic Acid Emulsion 10%. I know a lot of people love Azelaic Acid and I want to love it. I mean, I know it is more an ingredient for people who have acne prone skin, but I still feel like I could benefit from it. Although I did realize that a lot of like the Azelaic Acid products were like cleansers or like spot treatments and such, which was a little bit harder for me to incorporate into my routine but this one is an emulsion, like a light lotion serum type formula. So I thought it was way easier for me to incorporate. I don't know, I just wanted to try it out. So we got that one too. Body care, or I guess it could be skincare as well, but the one body care product that I got from Naturium was the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. You cannot get them in Australia, I am pretty sure. At least when I checked last or when I left Australia, I got the one that does gently exfoliate and resurface to reveal softer, smoother skin. I do suffer from bumpy skin texture, I guess you could say, or like, I guess it's called what, strawberry? Strawberry skin or chicken skin or whatnot. I feel like it's not like really, really bad, but my skin is fairly prone to like ingrown hairs and I do have to exfoliate regularly on my legs, especially to make sure they stay smooth. So I wanted something that could help and lessen that in an easier way because at the moment I do use like a body scrub every now and then and I do use like an exfoliating glove pretty frequently to kind of keep it at bay. So I'm hoping that this will help. And a couple kind of basic products that I know is like staples for many people but I personally have never tried it. The Eucerin Advanced Repair Cream. So this purchase was definitely influenced by um, Ava Lee or Glow with Ava because she was answering questions on her Instagram and someone had asked like what's a good cheap body product and she said this brand so I was like yep I'll try it this one is for very dry skin and it says it has like 48 hour moisture I don't have like severely dry skin but again my legs if I don't take care of them they can get very dry very quickly and this one has a bunch of ceramides and natural moisturizing factors and it's also very good stream hmm, I did not know that let's try a little bit Oh, it's like a pretty nice texture. I somehow thought it might be like a little thicker. Ooh, yeah, but it's like really nice and buttery. And then I also did grab the Aqua 
Aquaphor Healing Ointment. Both of these, Aquaphor and Eucerin, I know they're like really easy to find in the US and I honestly don't know if you can get it in Australia. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I feel like I don't easily see it like at the pharmacy or like Priceline and whatnot. And it's like four bucks or something in America. I was like, yeah, whatever, fine, I'll just try it out. But I know this one is more like a thicker Vaseline type of product. Yeah, it is like 41% petroleum based product, but it says it's good for like cuts, scrapes, burns. And when you do have like extremely dry, even like your elbows, heels, knees and stuff like that, it is going to um, add a layer of protection. And yeah, I thought, why not try it out? They literally had this in like so many different sizes. I was shocked. So I was like, well, it must be good if everyone wants it in every single size possible. Next, I'm going to share the makeup that I got. I didn't get too many items. I got five and three of them are from the same brand because I actually can't get this brand in Australia. First, I do have the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. So this was probably one of the most recommended brands when I asked you guys like what I should try in the US and a lot of you guys had mentioned their lip gloss, I guess. I must say... I'm kind of in love. So I am wearing this one today. It is in the shade Cashew and it is a gloss, but man, does it feel nice on the lips. Like it does feel like a balm on the lips, but it is like a gloss. It is really pigmented. I didn't wear any base color today. It adds such a nice amount of pigment feels comfortable on the lips and it really does add that beautiful gloss i did buy this before i changed my hair color but i feel like this kind of like orangey brown nude it goes really well with my hair color and i'm like just so glad i bought this shade and the other product i got from tower 28 is their luminous tinted balm in two shades magic hour and happy hour so i do feel like i'm a little bit delayed in the cream blush trend since i have discovered a couple i am totally in love and why wouldn't i be because i am definitely someone who is all for that glowy look now i haven't tried either of these yet but i thought i might try to pop on the magic hour because i feel like it does totally go with my look today happy hour is more of like a pinky corally color which i also love Ooh. That's beautiful. I feel like these will be really, really easy to build. And I will say that is something so nice about cream blushes. You can really make it as subtle or as strong as you want. I'm going to use the Insta Pop Cheek Brush from Real Techniques. I feel like it works really well with cream blushes. Whoa. It goes on so easy. It blends seamlessly, doesn't it? How pretty does that look? I feel like on camera it's even more subtle, but... Oof, so pretty. What do we think? I really like it. I do believe you can also use these on your lips. Tap plus blend onto your cheeks and lips. It'll be good for like a multitasker too when you don't want to think about like what blush matches with your lip. You can just use the one for both, which is nice. Another blush that I got, which I know like literally... <laughs> Literally everyone, literally everyone on Instagram has this product and I had not yet because every time I went to go buy it in Australia, it was always, always sold out. It is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in the shade Joy. The packaging is gorgeous. It is very cute. I don't think this was my first color choice they were sold out of a lot of colors but this was still a color that i felt like i would use all the time it's kind of like a corally shade and more importantly i wanted that dewy whoa it's so pigmented but i did want that dewy finish to it so i'm gonna try to blend it out just with my finger dude you need such a little amount that is crazy you guys saw that right it was literally like one dot of product okay i'm gonna have to be really careful when i apply it but it is a very pretty peachy corally shade and then the last product that i got was actually the fenty beauty ease drop and i got it in the shade number two i literally just realized that i didn't even like test the color out on my actual skin after getting it and i obviously can't return it anymore so let's just hope it is the 
bright shade. I am more and more wearing less heavy makeup or makeup with less coverage these days. As long as my skin is in like good condition, I feel like lesser makeup actually looks better on me than um, something with full coverage. So that's why I thought I would test this out. I might just pop a little bit out and see. Oh, it's quite a creamy formula. That's what it looks like. It is pretty light and I will be honest, I got a fair bit of color while I was in the US. Definitely gotten a little bit more tan, a little bit darker since um, like before going to the US. So maybe I'll just try it on my neck and see. Oh, no, it's pretty good. It might be a little bit light, but by the time I blend it in, it's like, yeah, pretty good match. Let's try it here a little bit. Yay, I think I chose the right colour. It does feel really nice on the skin and it is a really creamy formula. I am very, very excited to try it out. My go-to in summer, because I don't like wearing anything heavy, is still my numbers in number three. It's just so light, leaves my skin looking glowy, but sometimes I want just that little bit of extra coverage and I feel like this might be that kind of coverage that I need. Moving on to fragrances. Now I am super, super picky with fragrances because my skin is super, super picky with fragrances. I myself, I just like lots of vanilla, caramel, as well as fruity, just like really sweet fragrances, but my skin turns like 99% of fragrances into trash. Like it makes it smell so gross. And I know it's just like to do with your skin's acidity levels and whatnot, but a lot of perfumes do not work out on my skin. But these perfumes were like 20 bucks and they just smelled so good. And I was like, you know what? I'll just wear it on my clothes rather than my skin so I can enjoy the scent. Both from Pacifica and one is Silver Moon and the other is Flower Moon. So I kept seeing these ones in Target, but they were like consistent consistently sold out. I mean, it was just before Christmas time, but I ended up just ordering them online so I could get them. And yeah, 20 bucks each, like, I mean, it's not like a high-end perfume, but if I am especially just gonna wear it on my clothes, I was like, why not? I will say I was kind of surprised and like a little bit sad that they don't actually come with a lid. The product itself doesn't. It's not like a faulty thing or anything. They just don't come with a lid, which is an interesting take. So the Silver Moon one, the blue one, is vanilla, almond, and spice, which sounds lovely. I love vanilla, I love almond. I'm not like huge on spice, but I feel like on this one, it does kind of work. Mmm, this one's so good. I feel like this one would be better in like autumn, winter months. And then the Flower Moon is Jasmine, Peach and Vanilla, which again, vanilla, but also I love, love the fragrance of peach. So let's try this one on the side. Mmm, so nice and like fresh, fruity scent. Definitely one to wear like right now in summer for me or springtime. The last thing I got is hair care and it's actually a set. I got the Olaplex Hair Repair Treatment Kit. This one does include the number zero, the bond building hair treatment, number three, the hair protector, number four and number five, which is bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. Now I had been wanting to try Olaplex for literally the longest time as I am sure like with everyone else on this planet, but it's so gosh darn expensive. But this whole kit was like, I think it was like 60 US dollars and then it was 20% off when I bought it at Sephora. And then when I looked on the Australian site, it's like 120 bucks, like so expensive. So I was like, yes, I, I will finally try it. And since I very recently dyed my hair and bleached it and colored it, now it is going to be even more damaged than before. So I thought, why not? It is a good opportunity to kind of spend a little bit more money in um, treating my hair. Yes, that is my whole from the US. Was that like expected of me or was it like a little bit unusual the things I purchased? Please let me know. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah.